Hello and welcome back to my Sims 3 Let's Play. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and I'm recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. And this is something I have not ever seen before. We have a ghost working out to the television. Um, it is, yeah, it's Cornelia Gunther, I mean, <laughs> Mortimer's mom, so thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Mortimer and Bella are sleeping. Uh, Cassandra just woke up because the ghost woke her up. So I'm having her eat a little midnight snack or three in the morning snack and then she's going to go back to bed. And uh, Alexander just fell asleep. He sat in his bed for quite a while before he fell asleep. He does have the mood lit for, uh, from playing with his doll. Um, evidently, if you play with it a lot, you have a high chance of the doll coming to life and being your uh, invisible friend. I haven't ever done that, so we'll try and see if it works out. If it does, good. If not, that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to stress about it. So, we have everybody still sleeping. He just went to bed before I started recording. She's about to get up, so we'll look at her. Alright, Bella, what do you have going on today? Um... Oh, let's see. She oh good. She works today finally. Um, she needs to meet her cast members so that we can start building relationships with them. Her mood is good, so that is the thing that we're going to need to start working on. So when she gets up, I think she needs to eat. Yes, we will have her eat something. Uh, grilled cheese? Why not? Sounds good. Alright, so Cassandra's back asleep, Alexander's still asleep, and Mortimer's still asleep. Oh, he needs to eat when he gets up, too. We'll have to meet a salad for breakfast. Yum. And he doesn't have a job, so he can do whatever he wants. I am going to have him paint. Um, he's going to be aging up soon. I did go in and adjust the ages in my game. Um... Because my sims were living for way too long. Because um, I think I had it like at 115 days or something like that. So I s switched it down to where it's 90 days for everybody. Um, babies and toddlers don't live very long. Children and teen, 10 days each. Young adult, adults, 30 days each. And elders. Um, if there's anybody who I want to live longer, there are ways to make your sim younger in the game. One is to get a tattoo. Secondly, you can get the... Uh, um, steam spa thing from Sunlit Tides. Uh, you could buy it separately in the um, Sim store. I'm pretty sure you could buy it separately. And if you have your Sim uh, take a steamed mud bath, a revitalizing mud bath, it will age them down a day. But in this particular game, I don't want anybody to. Uh, um, well, there's a big difference in their ages. How is that? Uh, oh, because I haven't been playing her as long. That's right. Well, anyway. So, let's see. She has six days until she ages up. And he has one day until he ages up. I wanted to give the kids a little bit longer. Um, because I want to try to do the bake sale with her this weekend with Cassandra. So, hopefully... Because I tried it with Mortimer, if you'll remember, way, way back when he was little. I tried it with him, but we didn't have much luck. So we're going to try it again. Alright, so that's probably Bella's car for work. And she's almost done eating, so we'll let her finish that and go to work. And then you are going to be catching the bus at 9, so we have 3 hours. She's done good with her mood and her homework. Done well, I mean. <laughs> And he's still sleeping, and he's still sleeping. Go ahead and wake up, Mortimer, because you're going to starve to death. Not really. I mean, he's got a long time, but... Alright, so when he wakes up, we will have him... He needs to paint. No, don't get the baby out. I don't know why you think... Oh, you are the baby. <laughs> oh, well, I woke the baby up. Hopefully he'll go back to sleep. Probably not. Darn it. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Let's see if he goes back to sleep. If not, I'll have Mortimer get him out. Yeah, I have a feeling he's not going to go back to sleep. That was a dumb mistake. He's sort of cute. Mm. Sort of cute. How are you doing? Alright, so we need to pick a lifetime wish for her. Uh, do we want her to reach level 9 in the science career track? Hmm. Hmm. 
science. Mm -hmm. Let me think about it. Oh wait, no, I don't want to click on it. Uh, science, science, science. Why not? We can always change it later. What are her... Hates the outdoors, eclectic, and light sleeper. So at least with the science career, she probably won't be spending much time outside. Mortimer, are you going to say hi to your daughter? Are you going to listen to her? Talk about the rain? Friendly. I never think really once they uh, are toddlers anymore, I really don't have them interact with the parents very much. Hmm. Oh, he has the ability to tutor her? Most Bagasu. We only have an hour, so let's see what the tutors are in. Oh. A logic skill. Alright, the bus is here. Is she gonna go to school? Alright, so her logic went up anyway. <laughs> Even if it was just briefly. Okay, he's gonna get Alexander out and we'll have him bring Alexander in here into the living area and maybe he'll play with his doll somebody needs to get the mail yeah he needs to pay the bills all right uh, do you have him yet pick him up all right and then bring him here and then Pay the bills, get the mail, and then you really need to uh, go ahead and take this painting. We're going to start saving his paintings. Um, they will go up in value. Let's see, do we have any in here right now? No, we're going to start saving his paintings because after he dies they will go up. Like this one, the original value was 129 now it's 173 and I think once they die they go up uh, even more. I know that's how it was in Sims 2 anyway. Uh, let's see, original 181, this one's 225, so go ahead and do that, and then we'll have him come out here and take care of the garden, because that is one of his lifetime wishes, tend the garden. Put some fish in here. And use composter. Bella just got a gift in the mail from Malcolm. The note attached to it reads, I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Call me. Malcolm? Let's see. Hank Goddard has the hots for her. Too bad, Hank. <laughs> okay, so he's playing with his little friend here. What interactions do we have? Play, sing to. Give him a new name. Do we want to give him a new name? Okay, let's have tr turn Cuddles into a girl. And we'll call her Sassy. Because if she ever comes to life, I think we can actually marry her. So, which would be weird, but okay. Play with Sassy. <laughs> Don't eat Sassy. Sing to Sassy. Oh, wow. Don't bang her on the ground. <laughs> Aw, so adorable. What an adorable little kid. Okay. Oh, he's starting to get hungry. Alright, so when he finishes with the garden, he'll come feed him on the floor. How's it going there? Pretty good. I could hire a babysitter just to come, but we'll, we'll, he should be able to handle it. He should be able to handle it. Let's speed this up a little bit. He wants to teach Alexander to walk, maybe. He wants to see Cassandra get on the honor roll. That will probably happen. He wants to slide on the water slide. Um, Who's that, the maid? Uh, yeah, the maid likes um, Yeah, well, get in line. Everybody likes him, so, you know. I got dibs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Feed him. Uh oh, and now he needs to have his diaper changed. Don't go anywhere. He needs to have his diaper changed. So as he finishes his bottle. All right, change his diaper. Let's see. Prove your logic skill. Yes, we can do that. Um, oh, hush, Alexander. And then we'll let Ac Ooh, Alexander play for a few more minutes before we have him he put him in the crib. Unless he does it on his own. Let's see if he does it on his own. Best mo, best mo. Ah, best. Oops. Oh, so annoying. Stop crying. <laughs> okay, he's going to put him in the playpen. All right, that's good. We can handle uh, that. that. That probably will bring up his energy. I think it does. Let's look and see. Not yet. All right, Mortimer. Come over here and paint. Let's see, is this coming up? Nope. Alright, so you. Can you learn anything? Play with Abacus, play with Mirror. Alright. I think those are working on logic and charisma. I could be wrong, but I think that they do. All right, so Bella, you are headed home. You're going to need to take a bath and eat. Here, let's have her take a bubble bath. And then I'll have her serve lunch. Let's have, oops. Serve lunch. Mm, grilled cheese. Again. Oh wait, we already have grilled cheese in there, don't we? Serve lunch. Let's have hot dogs. He wants to buy a dollhouse. Okay, we'll do that. Because I know the toddlers really like the dollhouse. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see. That's in here. Although, you know what? I don't want to do that because I want him, when he's not in here, to play with the little, his little secret friend here, whatever. In fact, I'm going to have Bella put him in his crib. And then serve lunch. Because he needs to go to bed. Let's see. Uh, serve lunch. Hot dogs. Alright, so when she gets out, she'll do that. He'll just do whatever while he's in there. Play with me, or he'll just do whatever he feels like. And she should be... Oh, she's in ballet class now. Go inside, you'll do that. She wants to sell baked goods, which we're going to do on Saturday. Ride a spring rider, which is in the backyard, and win a game of hopscotch. Well, you can play hopscotch, but we're probably not going to play against anybody else. So, when she gets home... Oh, it's lightning. We probably should not have her play outside. Alright, so when she gets home... I thought I had gotten her a multi-tab. Did she give it to somebody else? Bella, you don't use yours. Give it to your daughter. What are you painting there, young man? <laughs> Looks like some sort of landscape. Alright, you are bubbled enough. Get out. She's still at school. So after school, do we want her to maybe go out somewhere? Let's see. Her homework's done and everything. We could have her eat out. We'll have her eat here. Why not? Okay. And then she can go home. Why not? And then energy for him is very low, so his mom's going to put him in bed. 
Actually, I think you could put oh. the toy in his bed. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure. Did that work? Okay, where did it go? Okay, that was weird. Uh, field trip to the police department. Yes. Okay, where did it go? Did I put it outside? Uh, odd. Is it in his inventory? No. Okay, that's really weird. <sighs> I hope I didn't just mess myself up. Okay, you guys saw that I just put him in the bed, right? <laughs> Unless I put it in her inventory, which is totally possible. No. Uh oh, our little friend has gone missing. Oh man, what did I do? I didn't put him in the laundry basket. <laughs> Okay, is he back where he was? And I'm hallucinating? Oh, he's- oh, oh my gosh, seriously? <laughs> let's see, let's put him in his inventory. And then come over to the bed. I think you can put him in the bed with him. I could be totally wrong. Let's try this. Can you go in the bed? Yes. Alright, that's what I was trying to do. That is one creepy looking doll. <laughs> I did have an imaginary friend when I was little. <laughs> of course, it never came to life and I never married it, so. <laughs> and if you know me, no, I'm not talking about my stuffed bunny. <laughs> I actually had an imaginary friend. Her name was Cot Pence, which I don't know where I got that name from. And uh, I think I was probably around four or so, and I only had her for as a friend for maybe a year or so. Okay, wow, we're right way out here in the hail. Oh, did you see that? She dropped it on the ground. <laughs> Nobody will know. <laughs> what? Don't put it on the table. I mean, on the ground. You yeah, weirdo. Okay, put it in her inventory. And then we'll go inside and put it in the fridge. What a doofus. Why'd you do that? Hot dogs. In the fridge. Hmm. Okay, so she's eating. Oh, I don't know if you hear that in the background. My cell phone is ringing, but I cannot answer it right now. Mm. I am playing The Sims. That's more important. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, what is that? Is it sailboats, maybe? Sort of hard to tell. Okay, but when he... Uh, feels like it. He can stop and eat some hot dogs and then go to bed. Bella, did you meet your co-worker? I totally forgot to tell you to do it. Did you meet them? Oops. Oh, darn it, I forgot to. I'll do that tomorrow. She needs to remember to meet her co-workers. Okay, how about you? Oh, you want to go out on the slide? Alright, we'll follow you for a minute. Okay, she's heading home on her bicycle. Alright, we'll follow Bella. She's going to do the slide. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> ah, I know, what a weirdo. Okay, Bella, what do you need? Oh, she's bringing up her phone, so we'll let her do this for a couple of minutes. I think she can go... No, she can't go on the slide. Can she go on the swing? Yeah, let's have her go on the swing. <laughs> okay, she can just hang out on the swing. She can't do anything with that. She can play hopscotch. She can't do anything with that. Uh, she can do the seesaw. Okay, so we'll let her bring up her phone a little bit. She is super tired. She wants to play in a puddle. Now, you know what? Come and take a bath, actually. Let's have a submarine adventure and then go to bed. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and... Oh, uh, Cassandra hates the outdoors. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Not a whole lot happened in this episode. Nothing exciting anyway. No drama, no deaths, no births. <laughs> 
Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Keep on swimming. Bye.